my name is Rachel from The Confused Millennial and today I'm going to be doing kind of an unboxing, kind of a year and a half later review of the Love Every Charmer play kit. My daughter's about a year and a half now, so we got these play kits when she was first born. We've had them for a long time, so I'm gonna give you guys the inside scoop about how well the toys actually held up and whether or not she continued playing with them past three to four months because that is what this play kit was for. If you don't know what Love Every is, they are a Montessori based toy subscription service delivered right to your door. I will leave my full review explanation of Love Every um, and just a generalized experience for you guys to check out in the description box below or you guys can click up here. Beyond that, we are gonna look solely at the Charmer Play Kit today. The Charmer Play Kit is for three to four month old. It has been over a year and Love Every has updated some of the items. For the most part, they're the same, but there are a few minor tweaks they did to improve the play kits. In my opinion, if you guys caught my looker review, you, you saw they swapped out a blanket and a mug for a really awesome two-sided mobile. So a few of the items in the Charmer kit that I had access to as a new mom last year are no longer in it, um, and they did swap some things out. So I'll give you guys my thoughts on those changes as well. So this is what came inside my Charmer play kit, 12 items for 80 bucks. You see it is a fantastic deal. We're gonna start with the items that are still in the Love Every play kit. First up is this mirror. This is not an ordinary mirror. This is the holy grail of baby mirrors. <laughs> and I know this may sound crazy, but this play kit is worth it for no other reason than to buy this mirror. It is trimmed in plastic. The one I got was double-sided, so it has some high contrast images on the back. It's not glass. It is baby proof. It has taken a beating and it has held up fantastic. My daughter has thrown it. It has been walked on. It has been trampled on. It has been packed in my bag and traveled with us. We love it. We'll sit it upright at our kitchen counter and she'll go out when I'm cooking and she'll just stare at herself. We'll use it for tummy time. As she's gotten older, she walks around the house staring at herself. We'll go ahead and play peekaboo, looking up down over it. Really durable, high quality. Like I said, I know it sounds crazy to be this obsessed with a mirror, but I don't worry about anything shattering. It has kept its shine, even though it has a few little scratches, it has stayed really shiny. I probably should have cleaned it. Um, like, it's just, it's amazing. Look at yourselves. Okay, don't look at yourselves. That didn't work. Um, but it really is. I'm just that obsessed with this mirror. I can't express it enough. So it may seem like a silly item, but if you have a baby, you know, especially as they get to toddler years, you know just how destructive they can be. And this has been standing the test of time and has continued to be a favorite item well past three to four months. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. Next up is this soft book that has loads of different um, things it can do, spots for you guys to put some of the flashcards that come in the play kit, different textured ribbons, peekaboo little things, pockets for you to hide things and see. My daughter has bracelets sitting in here. She still plays with this one to this day too. Um, more card slots, another little pocket. This is really awesome. Obviously we still use it, clearly. She actually has grown to like this more as she's continued to get older and actually been able to manipulate some of the features. When she was three to four months, actually she didn't play with this a whole lot. It was really around eight months, nine months, 10 months, a year that she started to love this. But I do love this book because I would get her the different textures to play with even when she was just laying on her back still. And it's soft, I didn't have to worry if she dropped it on herself or if she hit her head with it, she dropped it on her face. And it was really easy to pack in the diaper bag for outings. So we're big fans of this. As you guys saw, it had some more of the high contrast flashcards in there. This play kit also comes with more high contrast flashcards with more complex imagery. I don't remember if these are exactly from the looker play kit or this play kit, but either way, there's more black and white cards. Love that free flashcards are the holy grail of flashcards. I don't know what they make them with, but my daughter has folded these, crinkled these, put them in her mouth, because we'll just give her some to play with in her car seat when we're traveling and they have stood the test of time 
no paper cuts, they don't tear. I'm obviously not gonna like tear it right now to show you guys because I could probably tear it, but babies can't seem to tear it. And we love them, they hold up so well. The other type of flash card this play kit comes with is a mirror flash card. Clearly, I still have the protective film on it, so we actually have never used this. I don't know why we've never used it. I honestly think because my daughter loved the frame mirror so much, I never thought to take this out. And I also think I'd have to go back and check that the Love Every Play Gym may come with a mirror flash card because we have one in her travel card holder if you saw my looker review. So that's why we haven't used this. My gat, I don't know. It seems great though. It's really nice. It's super shiny. It's really well made, but we just never used it. The next round of things that this play kit comes with are some wooden handheld toys. Baby's first rattle. We love this. We continue to play with this to this age. I'll go ahead and make a little maraca play with the little drum. So we make music with them. My daughter liked to put this one particularly in her mouth when she was younger. And we'll find different ways to play with this. And one time I think I hung it from the Love Every Play Gym. Sometimes we'll go ahead and tie pipe cleaners onto it and turn it into a bracelet of sorts. There's all sorts of ways to keep playing with this. The rolling drum, um, you kind of sit on the floor, you can roll it to them, let them hear the different sounds, they can shake it. She never loved this one as much as the maraca, but it got a good amount of use and she will randomly take it out and walk around with it to this day. The handheld to coin thing, they're attached. This toy, I think is supposed to help them with grasping and hand transference because it gives them some angles to work with. My daughter never used this. She just never had interest in it, didn't want to put it in her mouth, didn't want to hand it back and forth. She preferred this rattle for transferring back and forth. I really do think the play kits get so much better at seven to eight months. With that said though, I love this play kit because of the mirror, because of the soft book. There are some fantastic items, but at the end of the day, I'm more of a minimalist. So do newborns really need toys was a big thing I struggled with. I am really happy we had all of these because this is our first child. We literally owned nothing for a baby before having her. I didn't have a baby shower. So these were a really quick, easy way to get high quality, well-made, backed by research toys without having to do a lot of research. And again, they are actually a great deal financially when you go ahead and price out comparable items as single options. Again, this is 12 items for $80. Another item that comes in this play kit is a little crinkle bag. It's got a pocket here, it's got a pocket here. We actually play with this more the older she gets than we did at three to four months. She didn't have a ton of interest in this when she was little, but as she got older, she loves to hide things in the pockets. And I would actually pack this with us while traveling. All of the Love Every Play Kits also come with a little guidebook explaining what the items are, how to play with them, what's happening with your baby developmentally at that time, giving you ideas for like what to give your baby each day, opportunities to look in the mirror, lots of floor time, all kind of explaining the milestones that they're working on and the skills they're working on month by month. And the reason I love it is because, you know, these items may not seem very interesting to you or me. They are to our babies and sometimes I couldn't come up with ways to play with this rolling drum. I thought it was just like a shaker thing. I didn't think to actually put it on the floor and roll it back and forth with her and let her see that. It's actually really helpful to kind of get you out of your adult head and into a baby baby head and meet them where they're at. Okay, so I want to show you a few of the items that are no longer in this play kit. Instead, they replaced them with a few variations of them. First are these three type of teethers. I am really sad they got rid of this one. It's just a soft donut teether, but this was like my daughter's favorite toy next to the mirror in the soft book. She just loved sucking on this. And I don't know, it just makes a really fun noise when she sucked on it, but this was like the best teether I have ever found for her. So I'm sad that they took this away. I'm hoping they'll put it back in in future iterations. I'll leave a link below. You guys can see the other teethers that they replaced them with. The other teethers are an improvement from these. This, I think, I think a variation of this may come in on the play gym. If not, 
Yeah, it does. A variation of this already comes in the play gym. So that was kind of like, okay, that makes sense to get rid of. And then this one, they replaced it with a beaded round one, which I think has a little bit more texture and makes it more interesting. My daughter probably would have preferred that one over this one. She liked this one, but she didn't like, it wasn't one the other thing they got rid of in this play kit was a pouch which i'm sad about they do still have a pouch in one of the future play kits but we actually took it with us while traveling i would just go ahead throw a bunch of these toys i put the wooden book from the looker play kit in here it fit and a handful of other toys in here and so when we were on a plane I know nobody's going on a plane in 2020, but um, when we were on a plane or even a road trip or something like that, it was a really nice way to have everything consolidated together. We're huge fans of most of the items. Like I said, I personally do really think they were worth it for us. We are first time parents. We had zero toys, absolutely nothing. I'm really big on high quality. So that everything is made from organic cotton, soy based inks, sustainably forested wood. All of the toys are also put together by a team of experts. So researchers, academics, psychologists, I'll leave a link. You guys can see their team um, on their website and all of their credentials. But it was really nice to not drive myself up a wall trying to figure out should I introduce this toy at this stage? Is this going to be a waste of money? So on and so forth. We hopefully want to have more kids. So even though she may have not used coin thingy, um, I know we're keeping it for future kids. And then if we still don't get any use out of it, easy to clean, it's well made. So I know we can always donate it and um, pass that along. So nothing's going to waste. Out of the 12 items we got, we only didn't use these two and this one we didn't use because we already had one like this and this one is the only toy she has never been interested in from all of the love every play kit that is the charmer make sure to hit that notification and subscribe button because next time i'm going to be walking you through the sensor play kit which is for months five and six and then the one after that is the seven to eight month old, which is when these start to get out of this world amazing. Obviously, I'm such a fan of them, but those play kits are like the best toys. Anyway, I'm Rachel. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at the Confused Millennial. Don't forget to take advantage of that 10% discount. I will leave a link for all of those details in the description box below.